Guys, this should be a game changer for my cow panel mini greenhouse. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. Guys, today, I'm out here in my little cow panel mini greenhouse, and we got her fan on temperature adjustable temperature thermostat what i'm gonna be doing with this y'all can see right here in the end i have a window and it's on a greenhouse vent window hinge which when it gets temperature it gets up somewhere around 65 degrees in here that window starts opening well i'm gonna have a box fan sitting here and i'm gonna have it set on temperature control so when it gets about 70 degrees because I don't want the fan to come on before the window starts opening. But once the window starts opening and making any kind of opening at all, my fan can go on and come on and start sucking air to get that hot air out of here. And guys, like I was saying in one of my other videos, if you're going to build your greenhouse or you're going to buy a greenhouse and you live in the south, get one with roll-up sides. Because this temperature goes from freezing at night to during the day it can get a hundred degrees in here so i'm trying to come up with something that i help circulate the air without me having to be here to turn it on and off so what i'm gonna do right here is called the air vent inc the brand of it and that's nothing more than a fan on switch temperature control switch that goes on like in the uh, attic of your house on your roof vents i think i purchased this from actually i think i got this from amazon but you can get them from lowe's home depot or anywhere like that but when i get done with this video i'll leave a link in the description below where you can purchase this exact one what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut my power cord to my fan now you can use any kind of fan it ain't got to be just a box fan that's just what i experimenting here with but you can use this well you can actually use this on just about anything that you want to come on at a certain temperature but i'm gonna cut my power cord and wire it into this thermostat control and then i'll figure out where i'm gonna mount it and we're going to test this little baby out and see how she works. Now, today ain't going to get hot enough, I don't believe, to make it come on. So, I got my little diesel heater sitting down there. I will fire it up just to test this thing out. So, I'm going to get y'all on over here closer where y'all can see me wired up and what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to go on and tell y'all I ain't no electrician, but I can do my own electrical work. But we'll get out the directions and see if we can... Look at what wire they say to hook where. I already know what I'm going to do, depending on, don't matter what the direction says. <laughs> and there's your close-up shot of it. Just is from 50 degrees to 120. Now, if you put it in the attic of your house, you want it set up there around 90 to 100 degrees before it comes on. But for my greenhouse, I want it to come on somewhere around 70 degrees. Now, when we start testing this, of course, to get it to do what I want and to work with my window over here, I just got to play with it. It might say 80 and it might say 60. Who knows? I ain't really worried about what that number says. As long as I get it adjusted, that fan comes on once my window starts opening. We're going to get it out of the pack. Take the top cover off. But let's look at the directions and see. So guys, what it's showing here, your white wire is your ground wire, or neutral wire. And it's showing it to run 
continuously and then break your hot wire. So I can do that. I can break my hot wire. Instead of breaking my neutral wire, I'll break my hot wire. But I ain't. I don't know what they showing there. They showing a third wire. I ain't got but two wires on my fan, so that's the white one. If it's white, mine ain't white on this cord, but the white's your ground wire. So I'm gonna be breaking my hot wire. Anyway, throw the directions away. I don't think I need them for this. So guys, this is gonna be the hot coming in. And then this will be the hot going to the fan down here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut my power cord to my fan. And the one with the small side is your height. If I ain't mistaken. I could be mistaken. Like I told y'all, I ain't no electrician, but I think that's right. Actually, I didn't need to cut that wire because I'm going to have to splice it back together. There's our hot. And there's our ground. This is the hot coming in. So we're going This is the hot coming in on the bottom. So that's the one we're going to hook the hot to right here. This is the cord going to the fan, so you can see it's got the writing on it. Whether this is the hot or the ground, it should work. Regardless, even though it may be not by somebody's code, you'll have to figure that out where you live. If you got codes, you got to follow and people checking on you work and stuff. Now, like I said, I wouldn't have had to cut this wire right here, the ground wire, because you want it put right back on the cord like it originally was. Now, we're going to stick the top back on here. And that should be wired up, guys. So now it's time to test this little baby. Now, guys, if I was wrong about this little prong being your height and the one that's got the wider part of the prongs being a negative, I'll check that out. And if I was wrong, I'll put a note in the 
video here below where I'm saying this at this time. But I'm thinking I'm right on that. But I'm wrong a lot of times. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to plug her up. And I tell you right now, something ain't right because my fan's on. Well, because it's set on 50 degrees. It's already over 50 degrees. Alright. So we know it works. Because right now it's set on 70 degrees and the fan went off because it ain't 70 degrees in here. But what I'm going to do... I'm going to fire the little diesel heater up in my greenhouse here because we're just playing. I'm going to leave this on 70 degrees. Because what I need to do, I need to heat it up in here because I want this set. Like I said, I don't want my fan coming on until my window starts opening. So I'm going to turn the heater on and then when I get it warmed up in here, we'll see what's going to happen. Okay guys, the fan came on one time and I had to turn my thermostat up here just a little bit because of course my thermostat, my heater's right down here below it and heat's rising straight up on it before the window started opening. But now I ain't gonna be running the heater at the time I'm needing my fan. If it's cold during the night and I run my heater, of course the next morning I'm gonna get up and come out here and turn my heater off. Then I turn my fan on right here then when I leave, as the sun comes up and it gets hot enough that window opens, that's when I got to get it adjusted so when my window starts opening, my thermostat will come on. So right now it ain't going to be a final setup because I'm getting false heat from the heater making my thermostat get hot enough to come on. But still, for this little test, I turned it on up. It's on 80 now. And as you can see, it's just before getting to 80 degrees down here on my thermometer. But even though my thermometer is saying 80 degrees in here, it's because this heater's heated it up so fast. This window right here in this hinge has got some kind of gel or wax in it. When it gets hot, it opens. Well, normally this window's opening. It's starting to open right now. I can see a crack over there. But normally this window opening about 65 to 70 degrees. It starts opening. But since I'm heating it up so fast with the heat, it's heated it up faster in the greenhouse than this wax or gel in here has had time to do its thing. But I like I said, this is just testing to make sure this is going to work, which I know it is, but it just come on while ago when I didn't have a camera on and turned it back off. The window's already starting to open, got a little crack, so it wouldn't matter if the fan come on now, it, it would just blow and that air would go out that crack anyway. But we're going to just let it keep running in here and see what happens. Guys, that thing is pretty accurate. It's set on 80 degrees. And my thermometer back here said it's 80 degrees. Now this diesel heater sitting here, but I got the vent pointed off that way so it ain't the heat. Yeah, heat rises, but yet the, what it's blowing is going back toward under y'all's feet. So I'm probably going to mount this right here. That's going how it's going to be mounted. 
I don't know if y'all can see, but that window's done opened up about a good inch, inch and a half on the bottom. So the hotter it gets in here, that window stand open. But the pan's already sucking air. But like I said, there's one other thing. If I run the heater at night when it's real cold, I come out here in the morning, I just have my fan off because I don't want my fan for some reason to come on during the night. I turn my heater off, turn my fan on, but also I got to open the window on my door if I'm going to leave for the day and ain't going to be here. Actually, I need another window like this on that end of the greenhouse so it would open up once it got hot. But right now, I ain't got a window that opens by itself. I just have to open my door window. And it might would be cool in here for a little while that morning, but as soon as that sun comes up, it warms up quick. But again, I'm gonna just let it run, get good and hot in here. Show y'all how the window just opens on up. Guys, I know a lot of you say, well, man, that's that's not good having your plugs right here. Well, I don't do nothing on this work beach over here that involves with no water. You got to have some common sense. Now, my little greenhouse here, it ain't hooked to electrical. It's running off of an extension cord. So I only run the cord out here when I need it. So it ain't all time under full power. Like I said, where you live, you may have some codes. People may check on your work stuff that you got to go by. That's something you got to do. I'm telling you up front. I ain't following no kind of codes doing this out here in my greenhouse. That's just how I got it hooked up for me. You may not be able to get by with this where you from or where you live. But for me, this is a do-it-yourself project. Just in my little cow panel greenhouse. You gotta have common sense. Don't be over here working around your electricity with using water. Anytime I'm gonna be watering my seed trays, I'm back there on the shelves. But one thing is, I do have my extension cord hooked in on a GFI plug up there. So if anything happens, it's supposed to throw that GFI, and if it don't throw it, then it's Horse hooked on a break. So I ain't a total dumb butt. <laughs> y'all see that window opening up? I'm gonna take y'all around back and show you. And it's 80 degrees, that window's done open that much. And it'll just keep opening until it's standing pretty much straight not straight out 90 degrees but it, it opens way out to here okay guys so i hope this gives some of you some ideas or something you can do in your greenhouses or not just your greenhouses in your sheds or anywhere you can hook them up on a temperature control like i said that switch is for your vents on top of the house is what that switch actually goes to but you can rig you up a fan of any kind, any kind of fan you want. Or you can put one of them rent vent roofs up and hook it on a thermostat controlled and help with your temperature in your greenhouses or sheds and such. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can purchase this little fan on switch. But guys, again, I hope this helps somebody out, give you some ideas how easy this is to do stuff like this by yourself. Appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't never subscribed, please hit that subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. And the best way you can help me is sharing my videos. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all have a blessed day. God bless. See y'all next time.